my shining stars welcome and welcome back it's your girl midnight moon and today we're getting into our september base box for boxy charm so if you guys want to see what we got in our september base box as well as a short review and makeup tutorial then just make sure you keep on watching if you're not a part of my galaxy squad yet then please do so now subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos show your support give this video a huge thumbs up and comment and let me know at the end of this video what products were your favorite what will you be trying and if you liked the look that we'll be creating share this video with friends and with that being said let's get into it don't give a hell paparazzi baby you know they always trying to give me a million dollars in the night scene. to start off this video i do want to mention i'm not a licensed or certified beauty anything i am self-taught and i educate myself every day i take classes so i can educate you guys also this is a sponsored video it is not being paid in any way boxycharm sent over this lovely base box for the month of september to try out and review for you guys reviews and opinions are always 100 percent honest and authentically me because that's something i value hugely on this channel timestamps and any products mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below as well as any other disclaimers and foreclosures that you guys may want to know so as you guys can see before we get started i did change up the intro a little bit i decided to start calling you all my stars because as midnight moon someone who loves galaxies and nighttime and stars you guys are all my stars and i love to see you guys shine i love to help you out with whatever you need to help you shine and that's all it's going to be about here on my channel just helping you guys shine brighter now getting into our boxycharm base box if you aren't familiar with boxycharm boxycharm is a curated monthly subscription there's three subscriptions to choose from the base, the premium, and the luxe. The luxe is a quarterly box. Today we have the base, and next week we will actually have the luxe box. We did get our September luxe box, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. We got lots of goodies, so stay tuned and subscribe if you wanna see that. The base box comes with five full-size products at $27.99. There is some taxes, and I believe they just added a handling fee. It was like $1, $2 fee. So do keep that in mind when purchasing your subscription. Every month we do have a different theme. So with that being said, let's get into our theme of the month. So this is our box for September. We have our pamphlet, which is the theme of the month. And on the back, it does tell you a little bit more about the products you got, what brands they are, where you can find them on social media, as well as pricing and anything else you pretty much need to know about it. Our theme of the month is strut your runway real life runway because it's your world we're just living in it i absolutely love that i always love the theme of the month i know i always say that in all my boxy charm videos but i really love these themes like they've been fire and then again the products of what you got on the back boxy charm is curated to you so do keep in mind because this is a gifted box these products are not curated to me although sometimes i do feel like they curate my boxes but these are PR boxes, so again, they do not get curated as you guys would filling out your profile on BoxyCharm. Let's get into our first item in the box. The first product we're gonna get into is this baby right here. This is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer. This is a powder bronzer, and this is what it looks like. We did get to try the Ciate London Dewy Blush, which wasn't a personal favorite of mine in a previous BoxyCharm. That blush is very cute. It's a subtle blush if you're into subtle color blushes, but it's just too dewy for me. For someone that wears a full face of makeup, it just wasn't for me. It made my makeup move a lot, even after setting it down with powder. It just again was not for me so i really can't wait to try this because this is a powder product the dewy blush i felt was more for people who don't wear makeup and just want a touch of color on their cheeks if you are more oily skinned like me but not blemish prone i would suggest using it more towards the winter as it is dewy and i feel like it gives a lightweight but kind of hydrating feel to the skin so this is what the bronzer looks like up close it has this mirror type of packaging. We got the shade South Beach. 
this should be my color. I think so at least, this is how it looks. This is a powder brush, but I personally really like it for bronzer. I like the way it applies, so we're gonna use this. And it does look like it has a bit of shimmer in it. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's very pretty. For my skin, I feel like it looks really good. What do you guys think? It is like very pigmented when I first applied it. I went a little heavy, but it is very blendable, so you are able to take off the excess. The application is very smooth. I don't see any patchiness. Um, I do have textured skin, so most makeup is gonna look textured on me regardless. And it gave a nice warmth to my skin without making it look like overly red or orange, you know, some bronzers can do that to your skin. Just to tell you a little bit more about this, this is a cruelty-free and vegan brand. Again, this is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer. It's an oil controlling formulation that's infused with botanical ingredients, including bamboo powder for a shine-free sun-kissed finish. The super lightweight powder can be swept across cheekbones for a subtle glow or built up to contour and chisel your features. It's $25. I love that you can use this to both chisel, contour, and bronze the skin. That is really beautiful because I honestly use bronzers as contour products. Now, if you guys don't know the difference, contour does have more of an ashy tone to it, which makes the anywhere on your face that's kind of like indented to like under the cheekbones, um, right here under the jawline, it'll make that just a little bit a little bit more sculpted where bronzer would kind of just like bring some warmth to the face now we're gonna jump into our next product next product we have is from wander beauty absolutely love them we got an eyeshadow palette a while back and i still have it and love it and still use it i have so many palettes so i don't use it as often as i want to but it's definitely a gorgeous palette and we also did get a blush and balm product so it was like a two-in-one you open it is your blush and then you open it again and you have a like lip balm so really cool for on the go this is their wonder beauty on the glow blush and illuminator duo sided stick it's 38 dollars and it's an original award-winning multitasker that delivers a full look in the palm of your hand on the glow can be used on cheeks lips eyes and body streamlining your beauty routine and helping you do more with less with cream color on one end and a buildable illuminator on the other, On The Glow keeps you gorgeous on the go. That is so cute. On the back, it does also say, of course, it's multitasking. It adds gorgeous color and dewy illumination for every complexion. It's a dual-ended stick that houses a cream to powder formula that blends easily using just your fingertips. Use wherever and however you'd like. So I do like that it also says that, that it's a cream to powder I like formulas like that and this is what the stick looks like blush side is called bare and the illuminator side is nude glow if you guys can see that I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here this is a highlight brush but again I like using certain brushes for certain things and I feel like this works for me so do what works for you so uh, this is the bare color and you twist it from the top not the bottom of course because there's two sides and we're just going to take that on the brush does seem pretty pigmented and we'll just start patting that on our cheeks let's see okay i'm already seeing color if you guys see that and it is a pretty color it's a very like natural everyday shade I feel like I do feel like I might be taking off a little bit of my makeup because I'm starting to see my pimples so that's how it looks it, it did take a tiny bit of my makeup off not as much as 
uh, that dewy blush I was mentioning earlier. Now let's flip it around and use our highlighter side. Oh, okay. Okay, Wonder Beauty. It's giving subtle. And it's like, it looks kind of like a pinky, I want to say, pinky pearl. It's giving, it's there, but very subtle. I do like highlighters like that, so I'm not mad at it. But it definitely is very creamy. For those who do like that subtle color, that subtle highlight, um, that there but not there finish, then this is definitely something you'd want to try. I think this would work beautifully on bare skin as well. Uh, if you want that like very natural, nudie look. Now the next product we're pulling out the box is an absolute, like I'm so excited for it. This is the Ace Beauté Violet Sage Palette. It is an exclusive to BoxyCharm. This is $32, which isn't bad for a palette. And it's again, the Violet Sage Palette. It features a combination of light and airy colors and some deep colors to spark creativity and create a variety of looks. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is what it looks like up close. It's giving me like spring vibes. Gorgeous. I'm like such a flower head and plant head. Like I have flowers back there. I don't know if you guys can see it right now because I'm probably blocking it right there. Um, I have to get some new ones, but we have plants and fruits and vegetable plants and all that stuff all around the house. This is how our palette looks. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I love showing my husband my boxy char boxes when I get them and all my makeup and stuff because I don't have too many friends at least not on social media. I don't have too many friends in real life. So that sounds sad, right? But it's really not. Sometimes you just can't mess with people. So my husband is like my best friend. So I'm always sharing with him my makeup, even though I know he's probably not that interested. Um, but this is actually one of the palettes that he said he liked every single last color in this palette. I was super surprised when he said that. And I really do too. I mean, I always love the palettes that I get, but I just love how this color combo is coming together. Like. You have your beautiful greens, especially I love this sage green. Then you have some like nice pastel pinks. You have uh, some nice violet shades, your browns for like, uh, your browns and almost reddish kind of colors for some nice transitions. I think it's just a beautiful palette. Um, the pans are pretty big. And again, I don't think that's bad for the price. So let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. Off camera, I am gonna go ahead and set my base as always. I'm gonna set my base with the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in 845 Warm Beige. The first shade I'm gonna take is going to be Juniper, which is this deep green right here. And we're gonna use that for our crease. With the same brush, I'm just gonna blend that juniper shade, that deep green out a little bit and work it towards our brow bone. I love green on brown eyes. Let me know what you think. Now we're gonna jump into that color sage and we're gonna use that to blend out the green a little bit and we're gonna add some green right on the inner crease right here as well as right on the middle, but not connecting all the way to the front, just the middle of the lid. I am using the same brush. I'm gonna dive back into the darker green, which is the Juniper shade. And we're just gonna use that to darken back that crease a little bit and add a little bit more depth on the outer corner since we did just lay down that lighter green. We're gonna go into another brush, a new clean brush now, and we're gonna go into the begonia shade, which is that pink. We're gonna use that for our inner lid and basically just blend it into the sage green we just did. 
Now we're just gonna go back into that brush that we were using for the green and blend it. I'm gonna go with Anemone. It's more of a lighter shimmery pink, which is what I wanna go for to brighten up the look in a little bit. We're gonna add that right on the inner crease, inner corner of the eye, just for that pop of highlight. And we're gonna bring it down a little bit, which is something I always like to do. I feel like it helps the eyes pop more right into the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the Juniper and Sage shades. We're gonna use Juniper and use that to darken the outer waterline, underline. And then we're gonna go into Sage and use that for the middle, connecting right to where we put that shimmery anemone shade. We're gonna go ahead and go in with some liner lashes do some of that stuff off camera but let me know what you guys think of this look i'm in love with it and honestly i lately for some reason i have not been in love with my looks as much as this um i just feel like this is a whole vibe right here and this palette is a whole vibe right here so let me know what you think i'm lying i'm gonna add one more thing guys <laughs> i'm gonna go back into the little fluffy brush and I'm gonna add that anemone shade that we use for the inner corner highlight right on the top, right here under our brow bone, on our brow bone, to just add a little bit more shine and highlight to that area. So we're done with the eyes. We're gonna get into the last two products in this box. But first, I do wanna let you know what I used on my eyes in case you guys are interested. For the waterline, we used the Ruby Kisses Auto Eyeliner in white. Winged liner, we used the Ruby Kisses Color Liner in black. For mascara, we used the Merit Lengthening Mascara. For eyelash glue, we had the I Envy Super Stronghold Clear Eyelash Adhesive. And for lashes, these dramatic, beautiful little babies, we used the Alicia Lized Beauty Lashes. This is my cousin's brand. She is rebranding, so she is no longer Alicia Lized. I believe it's Emperor of Elegance. I can't remember the exact name, but I will have her Instagram link down in the description box below in case you guys are interested in purchasing lashes when she does relaunch. This style probably won't be available because she is checking out a new vendor, but stay tuned because this girl knows her lashes and I'm obsessed with them. I have three pairs from her last launch and i will probably be giving these away or throwing them out because again she is rebranding she's not going to have these lashes that i'm wearing anymore these are the lashes in style angelic with that being said let's get into our last two products also for setting spray i used the almasca hydra setting spray in dewy the next product we have in our box is this and this is the basic beauty latte and cocoa lip liner duo to let you guys know a little bit more about it this is a gel lip liner duo it retails for 24 dollars, and it says these gel lip liners are creamy long lasting and hydrating they smoothly glide onto lips and blend with little to no effort so again this is a gifted box so sometimes we will get repeats this is a repeat i got this actually in my I believe it was my last month's base box or the month before that so to show you guys we have the exact same thing um, i'm gonna be doing a giveaway with these probably not in the near future because we are doing our 1k giveaway on instagram soon we're already at 950 followers so hopefully it'll be very soon um, but I already have my three boxes packed up, so I will be saving this for another giveaway. Because I have tried these already, I do want to say they are very creamy. I love how they feel on the lip, so let's just get into it. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Latte shade, which I have not really used yet. This is the Latte shade that we're going to be using. The Coco shade. for this uh lip liner duo is i can't stand plastic pencils and these are plastic pencils because they don't sharpen unless you have a very good sharpener so i highly 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 recommend using the elf cosmetics duo uh pencil sharpener it looks like this you can buy it on amazon for like three or four bucks this thing sharpens anything so if you have plastic pencils and you're frustrated with how they sharpen with your regular pencil uh sharpener 
then definitely get this. And just blot it out like that again super creamy really lightweight and as i mentioned in my last video and i'll mention in this video i love these liners now for our last product in the box we have the vintage by jessica lebeskind hopefully i'm saying that right sparkling lip gloss this is what it looks like giving me 90s vibes back in the day when we used to go to the beauty supply store at like 12 13 and find like the really cute packaged uh lip glosses and this is in the color pink sequin it says it's 25 dollars and it gives your lips a glittery glow with this sheer reflective formula that provides luscious shine and sophisticated shimmer it can be worn alone over your favorite lipstick or with a lip pencil for, for a perfectly polished pout. Perfect, because I'm using a lip pencil. I do like that it says you can use it over pretty much anything or alone. And we have our applicator, which is actually a brush. I have not had a brush applicator on a lip gloss in a while. I usually get like the kind of like, I don't want to say felt tip, but like those type of regular wand applicators this is the shade you may not see it that much because it is kind of like a sheer pink shade but see it does give off that reflectiveness and it's so pretty so let's go ahead and put it on our lips i personally like a brush applicator i feel like it gives a good amount of product on the brush and you can always wipe it off if you get like some of the color on it which i did I know some people are like more lipstick fans. I am definitely more of a lipstick fan, but this gloss is giving. And that is our last product in the box. We are done with this look. I love this gloss, obsessed. I will be using this over more of my uh, lippies and lip liners. This is like, it's just so pretty. It's sheer, so it doesn't really change the color too much, but it is a pink, so. I guess if you was to put it more over a pink shade, it would look a lot, I don't wanna say better cause it still looks mad good, but it would it would look good. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Up close so you guys could really get the gist of the shine. Gorgeous! Y'all know I gotta be extra a little bit. So that was the last product in our box. Now our box was very, makeup heavy this month but i'm not mad at it uh, you guys might be because i know some people do like to have that variation um again this is just one variation so you might not get this it's all curated to you this is just the best of the best from the month for boxycharm um as a creator this is what we get and i loved everything in this box i really did like everything was beautiful i would say my favorite was the of course the ace Beauté violet sage palette and the bamboo bronzer but honestly i'm still like having a hard time looking at these products because the liners are amazing too and the lip gloss as well the wonder beauty blush is really good too but for me personally it's more of like a four star thing because it is creamy and it does like have like a powdery finish because i'm i'm not having any like uh any of it come off when i'm touching my face which is good but because it does take off my makeup a little you do have to just beware with that but i still love it i still like absolutely love this whole box like just hands down one of my favorite boxes so far we valued out our box and it values out to 144 dollars not a bad box um honestly i've gotten boxes that valued out a little bit more but i literally loved every single product and in some boxes even though the price may have been the value may have been higher some of the products i didn't like as much so that being said i loved 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 this box the siate london bamboo bronzer i'm in love with them now like as a brand i'm i'm in love with them in love with them that dewy blush had me 
but this bamboo bronzer is everything. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad, then what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss a new upload. We do post weekly and we're all into beauty. We're very heavy on makeup and unboxings here lately. So you can subscribe for that, but I do do other things like hair care and skin care. We have talks and talk about products uh, I love, review products that I love or hate, um, and so much more. Show your support, guys. Give me a huge thumbs up. Share this video with friends. Comment, and again, let me know your thoughts on this look. Let me know what were some of your favorite products in this box. And if you did get your BoxyCharm already, let me know if we got the same variation or what products we got as the same. I'll see you guys back here next Thursday. And as always, keep on shining. Later, guys.